The once red hot Erie Otters are reeling and the Spitfires will love nothing more than to snuff them out tonight here in game five at the WFCU Center. You know, we know Erie's going to bring their A game tonight as they have all series and um, you know what, just a few adjustments we made from last game and I think all the boys are ready to go. Three to one series, but you know, the job isn't finished yet. Um, still got another game here at home and uh, we just got to come out here, play the games that, you know, we know we can play and uh, hopefully we can finish this thing off. We want to come out tonight uh, with a solid effort. You know, uh, anytime you have a team down, you don't want to let them back in the series. The Otters looked loose at this morning's optional skate. They aren't ready to call it a season just yet. We're going to have to play a, a smart game. We're going to have to uh, control our emotions and uh, make sure that... Uh, that we're just uh, we're going out and working hard because uh, for some of us might be a last game and uh, we don't want that so we're going to go out there and give it everything we have. All the games have been pretty close I think and uh, you know the last two might not have seemed that way on the scoreboard but uh, you know we've had a lot of chances and uh, the pucks are going in from the last three games and um, you know they weren't for us so hopefully we can switch it around here tonight. They ringed off three in a row and you know hopefully we can do the same. The Otters would love nothing more than to extend this series to a game six back home Sunday afternoon but from what I've been told, the Spitfires aren't really interested in making another five-hour trip to Erie. At the WFCU Center, Bob Belichico, A News.